there is a shortage of 119 junior secondary school teachers in Baringo. The education director in Baringo South, George Ogeo, says some schools in the banditry-prone area are now running without teachers. Well, Stephen Leto reports on the schools that have left learners stranded. Speaking in Marigat, Baringo South constituency, the education ministry officials say the schools that reopened in the area are now running without GSS teachers. The education director, George O'Gale, said they have persuaded teachers who have diploma and degree in primary school to help in grade 7 and 8 for learning to continue. Currently, we already have 230 teachers, but we have a shortage of about 119 still required, meaning about additional two teachers per each school. The teacher's shortage was triggered by the killing of a school head teacher at the height of the bandit attacks. The Ministry of Education had promised to hire 20,000 new teachers, some of who would be deployed to the areas. There is no new registration of, 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 of uh, uh, JSS, so their children are uh, we're too far from other schools to go to those schools that they are required to go to. So we have children who are stranded. The schools they can go to is very far and uh, they don't have GSS registration in their own school. But we have made a uh, right up to the ministry and we hope by next term maybe they will get new GSS schools. Baringo South Member of Parliament Charles Cameron wants the government to set up an affirmative action fund as learners in bandit-prone areas are yet to properly engage with a new system of education in the country. And the government uh, should come up with a program of uh, employing more teachers to assist in junior schools because you can see the classes are increasing at the moment. We had the other time one class, now they are becoming two and it's going to be three. So we need uh, more teachers in these uh, junior, junior schools. According to the lawmaker, 3,502 students from banditry-prone areas, orphans and those from humble backgrounds have been allocated 32 million shillings from the NGCDF Bursaries Kitty. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.